guys in this video I'll be talking about Bitcoin um, I will go over the big support level that it is currently holding right now also I'll go to the hourly chart to give you guys a couple key levels I'm looking at to uh, scalp Bitcoin I do hold Bitcoin long term but I also scalp it shorter term as you guys know so make sure you smash the like button and subscribe and I'll also go a little back data of what Bitcoin is just in case you guys don't know or you just need a refresher okay so let's make sure we get this channel over a thousand subscribers by february 1st and also smash the like button and don't forget to get your webull account down below uh once we get to a thousand subscribers i will be showing uh whenever i buy and sell on the cryptos it's not signals i'll just be showing you what i'm doing that's when we get to a thousand subscribers okay so make sure you get your webull account down below because i will be doing it through webull it's the first link in the description and you get some free stocks when you deposit a hundred dollars okay now with bitcoin big support level is right around forty three thousand. okay that is a level that we're holding right now if we kind of break that level at forty three thousand then we probably could see Bitcoin fall below 40,000 for sure, but even fall below closer to the 30,000 mark, okay? The first target will be 40,000 and below if that support level breaks right around that 43,000 level. So that's a big level that I want us to be watching carefully. I'll actually make this level, well, I'll leave it blue as a support. I was gonna make it a last defense level, but um, last defense level is more around like 42. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and move this down to about 42,000. And then what we'll do is we'll make this level orange. Okay, you, you guys know all my warning levels are orange. So what that means is if this last defense level breaks and does not retest the next day, that is very bearish. Okay, that is very bearish. I have been buying a little bit of Bitcoin. Um, like every two days or so around these 40s, but I haven't been going too heavy because I think it might break That last defense level. Okay, we're not for sure yet, right? We don't know but it might break that last defense level And then let's go to the hourly chart so I can give you some levels that I'm looking to scalp on Bitcoin But let's first let's go To the data to show actually show you guys what Bitcoin is. Okay, the main factors of the blockchain technology just to kind of refresh in you okay bitcoin transactions are recorded on a public distributed ledger known as a blockchain that anyone can download and help maintain okay you do want to know what bitcoin is if you're trading it and if you guys like this let me know and i'll go over ethereum i'll go over solana i'll go over cardano just leave it in the comment section below which ones you guys want me to go over like on the back data and then i'll do that for you okay Transactions are sick directly from the sender to the receiver without any intermediaries. Okay, holders who store their own Bitcoin have complete control over it, right? Especially, um, I would advise you do a, a hard wallet so it's not actually on uh, the blockchain, like on a like on your computer or anything. You actually have it in a physical form. Okay, so make sure you look into that. It cannot be accessed without the holder's cryptographic key. Bitcoin does not exist in a physical form. That is true. It does have a fixed supply. Oh, it says right here. Bitcoin has a fixed supply of 21 million. No more Bitcoin can be created and units of Bitcoin cannot be destroyed. Okay, right now we're about 18. I think we're about like 18 point something. Let's see if it says it up here. Yeah, we're about 18.93. Now, once this total supply gets to that 21 million mark, I think Bitcoin is going to go crazy because no more is being made. Okay, so I am building a little position for that specific reason only. And then I'm also building because I think uh, Bitcoin and the blockchain will be phenomenal. Bitcoin users send and receive coins over the network by inputting the public key information attached to each person's digital wallet. Okay, so that's just a little key points on Bitcoin. Now, on the hourly chart, okay, looking for... Kind of looking for buying pressure now, right around, what is it, like 43, I would say about 43,100. 43, I think that's where I'm kind of looking out uh, for some Bitcoin buying pressure. So let's turn that green. 
Okay, so let's turn that green. Make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you have not already. And make sure you share the video out to your friends and family so we can spread that knowledge. So kind of looking out for some right now or within the next 30 minutes or so, potentially by here. Now for an exit, I'll be looking to take it up to about 46,500. That'll be about a seven to eight percent play. Okay. Usually I do try to get at least 10 percent, but seven percent um, on Bitcoin wouldn't be so bad, especially when it's pulling back. So you can kind of make up money. Like say you're holding a long position on anything. This could be anything and you're down. The best thing to do is hedge it. And then you can even scalp it so you can start making money in your scalps to mitigate the loss on the bigger position. Okay. So around 46,500 is where I'll be looking to exit to take out that about 7.8% profit. And then after that, we'll kind of have to see how it pushes up because I think a lot of resistance is in here. That's why I'm exiting before because we might get some pullback down and then it gives you another entry to go higher. Okay, so that's how I'm kind of looking at Bitcoin right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, no circumvention of bars. So anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.